Hello everyone, this is Lee. It's been a while since I made my last video, uh, which was the first attempt to make a video in English. Um, this is the second one. Hopefully I can do better this time. Um, in today's video, I'm going to continue uh, my tutorial about using Docker and traffic to deploy services. Um, today's, uh, today's service, we are going to deploy a Bitwarden instance. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Um, first of all, let me just open my browser. Let me go to my blog to grab some configuration files. Next, I'm going to open my terminal, log into my server. Now we can check the version of the Docker and Docker Compose here. It doesn't really have to be the latest one, um, but I just want to show you what I have here. And as you can see, I don't have any services running on this ser server at the moment. So let's get started. So the way I um, deploy my service is to build the traffic, uh, Docker and traffic um, services first. It's kind of having this uh, reverse proxy build up first, and then I will plug in the services into them. Um, the, the reason I'm doing it because after I have done the traffic one, I know that the port 80 and port 443 will be opened. Um, that's the first thing. And the second thing is I can monitor the creation of the other services. Uh, I will show you later. So first just copy or create all the files here and then copy these um, configurations one by one. We will need to change the um, your domain, as you can see, your domain to your domain. In my case, it's tomato.monster. And then I will save. Next file. Same thing, we need to change your domain to tomato.monster. One thing I need to change is I will need to change the um, ser reserver from let's encrypt bypass. The reason is um, I've, I have hit the limit of let's encrypt, so it doesn't allow me to request more um, certificates. Um, so let me just change it to bypass. Um, that's, that's also the reason I listed two um, certificate resolver here. So if you, whatever reason you messed up one, um, resolver, you still have a backup here. Okay, bypass, B-U-Y-P-A-S-S. Okay, so let's just save it. And then the last file. Let's come here, copy, paste. We don't need to change anything for this one. Now we can create our network first because as you can see, I'm using a proxy um, network here, external network. So I need to docker network create proxy. Okay. And then we can run docker compose up hyphen D to pull the traffic images. Uh, I'm also using the latest tag here. It probably not a good idea uh, because um, if um, traffic made some major changes, it means the configurations could be um, changing as well. So you could be ending up um, having the, in the services stopped. Um, so let's come back to here and let's go to traffic the tomato dot monster. Yeah. So this is very normal because by default, they will use their um, self-signed certificate here and wait for traffic to pull the real certificate from bypass in my case. So let's just wait for it. All right, it's done. So put in the username and password. Username is admin, password is qwer1234. Uh, if you are using my configurations, feel free to um, use this um, username and password and you can change the username and password here. Okay, so as you can see here, we have 
um, we have started our traffic services here, which means the port 80 and 443 is open. Now we are ready to ready to plug the big warden in services to to this server. Okay, so let's come back to my blog. Go to this post. Now we can go back to terminal. Okay, mkdir. I'm going to create a folder called Bitwarden to have everything inside. So let's go there. Okay, and first of all, I will need to create a Docker Compose file and copy this whole thing, paste in here. Same thing, we need to change the your domain to tomato.monster. And there is another thing I need to change is, you can see here, there is an admin token. Um, so what admin token does is um, you can create an admin page for this Bitwarden instance to manage everything, including setting up the SMTP email services. So uh, I will just use a OpenSSL command to get this um, token. You can use whatever you like. Let's copy and come back here. And then we just paste it here, save. The last thing I need to add is a middleware. As you can see here, I'm using the web sockets and this middleware is for the web sockets. Okay, so where is the web sockets? It's in a dynamic configuration. So we just copy this whole thing and go up paste it so remove the duplicates now save it and then create a folder to contain all the files the bitwarden files mkdr bw data and we should be all set by now so let's just run Docker hyphen compose up. All right, it takes a while for it to pull the actual images and start the services. But uh, what we need to do is go back to the traffic um, dashboard and we can monitor the router and services. Once it's done, you will see the router and services um, with the latest uh, with the traffic information here sorry not the traffic the big wall information here so this will change so i will fast forward this um, process okay so you can see the router is now four and the service becomes six previously it was four it means the big warden services it has started so we just go to bw big warden dot tomato dot monster Voila, so you can see, um, we can use our Bitwarden now, right? And certificates ready from Bypass, of course. Um, and I'm going to show you what admin page looks like. So we just need to add admin. Go back to here to copy our token. Put in here. It's very normal because by default, the admin page is using local host as the host name. We just need to change it to bw.tomato.monster. And now we can change it from here. So you can change the local host to your domain. Let's save it. Okay. And as you can see, there are so many settings here, uh, including YubiKey. Um, SMTP email settings. So if you're building these um, services for your company or your team, you want to invite the other people, you can use this SMTP services, put in your email host name, um, you know, the username, password, etc. Um, to set up the email services, pretty easy. Um, so on the official Wikipedia or Wiki document, it says you need to use the uh, environment 
uh, environment uh, variable to set this email parts, but I reckon using the admin page is a lot easier. So I strongly recommend to use this way. Um, and you can just play around from the admin page. Let me just log out. If you're worried um, your token is on the Docker Compose file, um, you can actually um, delete that um, token now. So let's go back to terminal, um, stop the services. So I stop and um, start takes a while for Bitwarden. All right, we delete that, save, and then we can run it again. Okay, um, the reason we can do that is um, the container has already been created. So um, the token is already in the inside the container. So we don't have to have it present on the Docker Compose file, which is much safer. So now again, we have to wait for the service to start. I will fast forward this part. Okay, finally. So <laughs> I, I generally don't know why it takes so long, uh, <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, luckily, we don't have to turn it on and off um, very often. So you can use the same token, come back here. You can still log into the admin page, okay? So that's pretty much everything I want to show you in this tutorial. You can just create your own account here and start using it. And Bitwarden is a um, very good tool. You can see you have the application on Windows, Linux, and Mac. So it's cross-platform and it supports most browsers, I would say. So if you are not using a password manager, please start using it. Give Bitwarden a try. Um, if you are using other, you know, password manager and want to have try something else, I strongly recommend Bitwarden. So that's all I want to show you today. Um, if you have any questions, please leave me um, leave leave in the comment section. Um, I'll try my best to um, reply you as soon as possible. Okay. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.